Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this vertical scrolling timeline animation in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. So let's get started. All right, I have already created a 1920 by 1080 p sequence. Firstly, we have to select the type tool and then add the first year where the animation will begin. And keep adding the year until you reach the final year where the animation will end. And then let's move over to the Essential Graphics panel to customize the text. You can customize anything in the Essential Graphics panel. And lastly, we have to align the text horizontally and vertically by clicking on these align icons. In the next step, let's move over to the Effect Controls panel and find the Vector Motion panel. Now we need to increase the Y position parameter value to scroll the text down until the first year is centered on the screen. In my case, I'm going to make the Y position parameter value around 1015. Next, in the Opacity panel, we have to create a four point polygon rectangle mask by clicking on this icon. After that, we have to customize the mask to something like this. And then we have to make the mask feather value around 80 to 100. And if you notice that the mask is revealing a part of the following year, you can decrease the mask expansion a little bit. Now you can see on the program monitor, there is no revealing part of the year. In the next step, let's move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a Gaussian blur effect. Let's double click on the Gaussian blur to apply the effect on the text layer. And then let's go over to the effect controls panel and make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the text layer. Next, we need to create keyframes for the position parameter in the vector motion panel and the blurriness parameter of the Gaussian blur effect by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now from the blur dimensions parameter, we have to select vertical and then move the time indicator a few seconds forward. In the next step, we have to create another keyframe for the position parameter and the blurriness parameter. And then we need to decrease the Y position parameter value to scroll the text upside until the last year is centered on the screen. In my case, I am going to make the Y position parameter value around 58. Now you can see on the program monitor, the last year 2000 is in the center of the screen. After that, we have to move the time indicator to the middle position between two keyframes. Here, we have to make the blurriness parameter value around 80 to 100. All right, now you can see on the program monitor, the last year is in the center position of the mask. With these couple of steps, we have created this simple vertical scrolling timeline animation. In the last step, we can improve the animation by right clicking on the last keyframe of the position parameter. And then under the temporal interpolation panel, we have to select ease in. Again, right click on the first keyframe, and then we have to select ease out. This will make the vertical scrolling timeline animation look a lot smoother. Now, let's click on the drop down menu of the position parameter to expand the speed graph panel. And then let's drag and move the blue handles slightly left and right side to slow the animation down. Now we are done. The scrolling timeline animation creation is complete. In this way, you can create a vertical scrolling timeline animation in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro.